Yes, Lord, we celebrate your goodness tonight. Come on. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Praise the Lord. This is Psalm for the day. Coming to you from the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Central Park of Asia. Let us pray. Everlasting King of glory, you are the eternal rock of ages, the great I am that I am. Almighty Father, we have come before thy throne of grace, O Lord, to appreciate your faithfulness in our life. Thank you, Lord, for the divine vocation of today, because it's only the living that can praise your holy name. Father, Lord, we pray thee, as long as we breathe, O Lord, you will carry us till the end. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Dearly beloved, you're welcome once again to Psalm for the Day. And we're going to continue from where we stopped yesterday by looking at Psalm 137, verse 4. Psalm 137, verse 4. The Bible says, For there, they that carried us away captive required of us a song. And they that wasted us required of us milk, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. The Bible says that weeping may endure for the Joy will definitely come in the morning. The melatonin state of the Jews made the enemies to make mockery of them. They knew that they were what? They were great singers. They are captors. The Babylonians actually put them in a deplorable state. And now they came forth, they required of them to sing a song. In fact, the request from the Babylonians could actually be a taunt. It could be a request in their sin. However, the Israelites were like, how can you, who have made us to suffer so much, how can you, who have ended up captive, how can you, that have taken all that belongs to us. How can you come to us? Why you have held us bound? And you now expect us to sing a sacred song. That we normally use to glorify our God. To sing unto thee. You have taken all our possessions. You left us in abject poverty. And at the end of the day, you want us to entertain you with our song. And the question that was on their lips was, how can the people that you have put in bondage, how do you expect them to entertain you? To engage themselves in merry making. These were all the thoughts of the Israelites. And they stated boldly that they cannot sing the love song in a strange land. It cannot be categorically stated that the request. Of the Babylonians is to humiliate them further. Perhaps 
it could be an encouragement. When they saw that, they've all decided to hang their harps. They know definitely that what gives them joy is the song they sing. So they were wondering, why won't they pick up their instruments of music and do what they know best to do in order to uplift them in the spirit and be happy? When you look at it from this perspective, you might want to consider the word of God again in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29. But they are prisoners of war. There is no way that they will not be down at it. But on a second thought, when you look at it, the Bible says that the heart of men is what is desperately wicked. The Babylonians requesting of them to sing a song, it might actually be a form of mockery. And a mockery in the sense that, yes, when you're in your pleasant city, you praise the Lord, you sing the song, but where is your God? You're not prisoners. Where is your God? Pick up your instruments now and begin to sing. I pray. Oh, my shake her up. That the God in his mercy will not allow your enemy to make a mockery of you. Beloved, in every situation, we must learn how to rejoice in the Lord. And that is the only way you can actually put the enemies to shame. Because when they feel that all is lost, when they feel that all is finished, that when they feel that there is no way you can make headway, but when you stand and praise God and thank Him in all situations, your situation will be turned around. When you remember in Jeremiah 29, verse 5, go and build ye houses, plant in the gardens, and eat the fruit thereof. It's not as if the Lord God Almighty did not know that you, you were being held, but He gave that assurance. That at the set time, at the appointed time, I will come for you. I will rescue you and I will restore you to your life. I pray that the pervidious will not hurt you. Where is your God? On a daily basis, you must sing a new song unto the Lord God Almighty. The wall of Jericho fell down flat. That wall did not just fall all by itself. The Bible records that the people were praising the Lord as they were glorifying the name of the Lord. The entire wall had to collapse. And when that wall collapsed, what happened? There was freedom. People were at liberty. The Lord, this day, every wall of Jericho that has surrounded your life, every wall of Jericho that has surrounded your business, every wall of Jericho that has surrounded your health, your finance, I pray that in the mighty name of Jesus that they will begin to give way right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Right from the foundation of that wall, they will all collapse in the mighty name of Jesus. 
at this blessed moment. I just want you to lift up your voice and begin to sing a new song unto the King of glory, the Lord of Lords. Sing a song unto him. Praise his holy name. Magnify him. And let your enemies know that you have a living God. You have a God that never fails. Because we know that forever he will be there to save us. His hand is not shutting that he cannot save us out of every situation. God is always there for us. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Sing a new song unto him. The Lord is going to hear your song. It's setting you free. He's going to rescue you totally. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray. Father, we call upon your holy name at this hour, Lord. Lord, we pray thee that every enemy, every enemy that want to taunt us, oh Lord, Father, Lord, you will put them to shame. Lord, you will disgrace them in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. They shall be totally disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, as we call upon your holy name, we pray, oh Lord, that as we sing a new song unto thee, Lord, let everything that has held us bound, Lord, let everything that has held us bound, that's without progress, ah, Father, Lord, we pray, that every stagnation in our life, oh Lord, let them begin to give way in the mighty name of Jesus. All the obstacles on our way, let them begin to give way right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We make a declaration at this hour that we are free, that we are free in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father, in Jesus' precious and much less name we pray. Amen. Praise Jesus, celebrate.